Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to give you a quick preview of Playground from For the Mind from Scrintle. So I just got access this week to their new board and also to, to note that this is not like the final release of this. They're still saying that they're working on the uh, Playground for the Mind. But here are some initial looks at the actual new board and the different things that it can do and also compare it to the old board. Now, first thing is that when you get access to this or the way they gave me access to it is that I have access to the legacy board or the old board and the new board, which is being notated as version two. So if we were to go into the board area here, you can see that there's a V2 on the board within the, the board list. So you do get a feel of which one is um, the new one and which one is the old one just by looking at it from the list here. Up here I have two buttons. I have a button for create board and a button to create board with a V2 behind it. If we go into this board, you can also see that there's some pretty noticeable changes where um, right here at the bottom, let me change this into light mode. Right here at the bottom here, we can see that this bottom menu is, is um, let, and let's move some things out of the way here. There we go. Make it a lot easier to see. The bottom menu has changed here or actually there was no bottom menu. This menu was on the side before so if we look over here at the let me collapse this side open this up on this left hand side which is the legacy board um, version and this one on the right is the new so on the old version of the board we can see that the the actual controls or menu items are on the left on the new one they place these at the bottom I'll go ahead and expand that and on the bottom you have the ability to basically toggle between the selection and pan uh, options there for the board uh, and and this is something that you're probably going to need to do initially if you get access to the board in this state they may up this here down the road but on the original board you can actually click the middle mouse button and you can pan as a shortcut so you didn't really need to change anything so I can still right click and select and then hit the middle button to pan but on the the actual v2 version of the board I cannot click that mouse button and pan anymore so that option is gone if I try to right click and pan it's gone I can still do the select option, but the clicking the middle button and trying to pan does not work. Also, um, just going back to the, the menu here, so you have the selection tool, you have the drag tool, you also have the create new block, and this is somewhat similar to when I come over here, I can click, and by default on the old board, you can put in there um, uh, by default when you double click it will create a new card we'll go ahead and delete this one if I come over to the new board and I double click it actually creates a block and we'll and I'll show you kind of how that works on this board uh, in a little bit here the next item on this bottom menu is a draw connector to where you can actually draw arrows from one tool or one block to another similar to what you could do before on the old version and then you also have a create new dock you have a create new board you have add from library so if I click this what happens is the spotlight search comes up here so then I can search for another uh, item within my library card library and I can pick that and then uh, if I let me see if I add this to board it will boom allow me to put that on the board so that's good and then there is the the plus button here that just says all blocks 
and not too sure let me click on this and see what it does okay so this one is the one that shows you all the different types of blocks that are supported to be on directly on the board itself so where on the old version of the board you pretty much only had the option for cards you could come in here and if I hit the add here um, get rid of that one if I hit add you can see that you could do a a dock you can which was called a card before you can do a board you can do a daily dock which is really just again a, a, a regular dock that you use for your journaling then there's text that you can put directly on a board you can put columns and then you can put web links on here so you can see it they've expanded the the different types of things that you can actually put on the board directly now one thing that has also changed too in here is that you do not get the column so the column option has been removed and I think that's fine because what they do now is they allow you to put blocks on the board so you can essentially still do exactly what you could do before so before what you could do is you could put in a column which is what this one is here and we will stretch this out so we can see more and what you could do is when you have these columns you could just come in here and say maybe um, you had tasks or different items going through a different stage and we can say this is status one and maybe this one here is status two or stage two and then what you could do is you can take a card from here and you can move that card over to this other stage or status uh, within your board depending on how you configure it and these and these can easily kind of go back and forth you can create new ones in here so on and so forth what you do now on the new board to get that same functionality is I can just double click in there and I put in a block and I can come in here and just say this is stage one right here and then I can come over and create another one as stage two these are separate blocks over here and once we do that there then if I come in here and I add in a dock what I can do is I can hover in or over these different blocks that are on the board and you can see where it puts that purple line that is showing you where you can drop this particular item so I can drop that item into this uh, block within this you know you could look at it as a column um, of blocks so then I can also come in here and if I want to um, move this around let me see let's take that particular block there and let's move it back over into a different stage you can still do that so you still get that same functionality just a little bit different in how you and how you get it uh, going some other things that are new here so I went through and I showed that these are all the different items that could be put on this board um, before you could not do um, basically most of this stuff so as I showed here these were the only things that you could put on the board which is another board or another dock type or uh, regular text in most cases and now if I want I can put images directly on the board you can see there's an image here if I take an image off my desktop I can just drag that over in here and it puts that image on there and then also a PDF if I want to put a PDF on there that will go and that can be dropped directly on the board pretty much any um, most file types will work if I want to put an audio file I can go ahead and drop that audio file on there and that works and um, let me see say if I want to drag and drop an Excel file I can even drag and drop an Excel file onto this board so there's a lot of different file types that can go on here and different objects can go on to the 
onto this particular canvas or board these days. If I want to come in here and put um, use markdown for the headers, I can come in here and just heading one. And I can really from here, I can just kind of start typing things and get things going. And it will just create a new block every time I hit enter. So more text. Enter again, and let's see if you if you do command, it'll actually extend that block. So it will instead of creating a new block when you hit enter directly, if you do command enter, you can do multi-line block here. So so that works fine. Within this this uh, say row of blocks here, I can come in here and I can change the colors like we could before and the colors actually there it, it's funny because on the new board they look a little bit more muted than they do on the old board with the new colors so on the old board with the new colors we can see here how these colors are, are much more poppier when over here the colors seem to be a little bit more dialed down I think um, in some cases, maybe it's about the same, but they they look a little bit more dialed down to me on the new board. And the Sprinto team did say that they're they're going to um, add or make available additional colors that are not so uh, so bright here. Uh, there there have been some feedback provided in the in the uh, community on Slack, letting them know that there are other people not just me here uh, that has been talking about the colors and just how bright they are and and the challenges with viewing these bright colors for a long time on your within your, uh, this application but I do think that this looks really nice we can see how I can I can add a color to a specific block here and then a different color to another block so this is that it's really much it's much more flexible than it used to be because I can do PDFs I can do images I can do all different types of files on this board and then I can also come in here and I can format things uh, differently too another thing that I can do here and let's move this PDF over here um, oh video I did not show that you can come in here and you can add video so I dropped the video on this one here and we can right, see the so video playing right there in the block so that works pretty well and on the the uh, PDF side while you cannot annotate the PDFs if I increase the size here I can come in here and I can select text and then if I hover over it I can grab that text by pushing down on the left mouse and then drag over that text into the board. Let me try that again. It worked previously and it does not want to work for me right now. Here, let me, um, I think what I had to do before was create a doc. And then within this doc, it shows the, P the PDF file here. There's a little open um, button right here. If I click that button, I'll we'll open up that PDF and let's expand it just a little bit here so we got some room. Move this out of the way and we'll move this up. And now let me try that over again in this view. If I take that, we can see that I dragged that out there. There's a plus button sitting there now. And if I drop it, it'll actually create a block with the text that's in it. Now the text is not all that great as far as uh, the continuity of and flow of the text that I grabbed here and then how it's pasted in here. Each new line creates a, a space in between the text. But you can come in here and you can easily kind of just go in here and format this here and come down to this one here and then move that one up there so you can come in here and grab text straight out of a PDF drag it over then work with it that way 
Uh, one thing you cannot do, and I still haven't seen, is that you cannot do highlights. That would be pretty nice if I could actually highlight this text and then um, be able to take the highlight and move it over, similar to what you can do in Heptabase or in Nodi. But this is pretty pretty good as far as from what I'm seeing from a, a, a first kind of um, initiation into the new board and, and what it does. It, it is pretty responsive so I can move things around. I can expand and and it seems to be pretty performant as far as you know zooming in zooming out. I can pan around the panning may be a little choppy but again this is a this is a uh, an early version of this board and I'm sure they'll be optimizing this as we move forward one thing that I did notice is that you do not get the linkages so right here I manually uh, set up this arrow but if I come in here and this file and what I've done is I've linked it to this one here and the old version of the board or the version one we'll call it the link would automatically create itself to show that there is a connection between these two and this particular board here there uh, you basically have to manually create that linkage yourself and yeah I'm not sure how I feel about that I do like the ability to have that link automatically show so if they did something like in Heptabase where at least the there's an option to trigger and say hey show all the connections via these type of links and then it puts it on there um, and they also give you the option to manually put connections on there if you want just having that flexibility I think would be good on on the different blocks here or docs uh, within these blocks you can change the formatting let me see here we are on this one here we can change the size here from let me see they have com compact they have snippet and then they have full where on the older version they had let me see what the different sizes was you can toggle a layout from basically this one card with the just the title in there one with where it's shrunken down with just the title and then another where it does show you some uh, content within there so I think they're probably about the same same thing here the colors you can change as well and I and I've noticed too on this one here you can have transparency I don't think let me look over here yeah I don't think you, you don't get transparency on the old uh, board the version 1 board but on the new board if I click on color here right now it's set up for transparent and let's see if I was to kind of put this over one of these links I'm not sure if it'll show here um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, the board is showing so that one's this one's white okay so these colors here are for the actual block itself not for the card so if I come into the card you see if there's some options here for the card let me remove the card from here and there we go I guess that does it right there come in here and let me make that transparent so you can see you can see right through this now if I type in some text you can see that it you cannot see the you know it's transparent so that there is no background there uh, but if I want to add a background I can come in here and I can add a add a background color in there you can also resize these these um, these blocks also but I've noticed that they only resize say horizontal and um, vertically with uh, a lock on the aspect ratio so whatever the 
size of the image is or the video is or whatever the object that's in that block it will try to make sure that the aspect ratio is is even when you increase it um, vertically and horizontal so as I increase the size of this here you can see it goes out uh, with an even aspect ratio based on what it already is if I try to just go horizontal here it you can see it still expands um, horizontal and ver vertically uh, in line with the shape of whatever this object is and I can do the same thing here if I do it on this image everything expands evenly for this particular image um, and you cannot just kind of say I want a square and just get a square out of this if the object doesn't actually support it what are some other things let me see I put some things on here oh there are no guidelines so on the old version when you move stuff around on the board there would be guidelines to show you kind of um, how aligned you are with other objects on the board itself and that does not happen here say the middle mouse button I mentioned that there is no auto linking I mentioned that so as you do backlinks within an, in a card or in a dock to another dock you don't get that linking between them two automatically and you can't share these boards publicly either so in here if I go to share you don't get that public option to share these these new versions of the board the version twos so that's another thing that's missing and then uh, the if you right click on this board the options are a lot less than what they are on the previous board so if I right click on there you can see I get all these different options here where if I right click over here you only get uh, these three or a few of them sitting there so a lot of good changes that are on here the other stuff is is still set up to be uh, exactly what you get on the old board where they've changed made some tweaks and changes here to um, to clean up the the interface a bit so all that stuff is still the same but yeah I'm like I'm actually liking the changes that they're they've added here and that they have put on here um, I do hope that they put some of the things that they've had on the old version of the board like the guidelines if I'm moving this around you can kind of see it hopefully you can uh, zoom in over here you can see the guideline that kind of shows you where where you are in alignment to the other objects on the board that they get that put in and then the all the ability to at least toggle on and off the auto uh, connections between different objects that have backlinks um, to them on the board that would be a nice one to add and um, any annotation maybe PDF annotations where you can annotate a PDF on here would be nice as well but from a f initial kind of look into this into this tool it's it's actually looking pretty good I do like this so we have one here where I have a couple different docs in this this one block so these blocks you can add in text we can see I just have text on this one here I have an, a document there I have another document here I can come in here and I can um, show the let me see where to have it here ah, up here right here so when I click, I click out, click on that block. Up here, you got to get this menu here. We can toggle on the backlinks and things here. So that's another thing I didn't show on before. And then you can also change the the size of the document from here as well. So to give you a couple different ways to do it, you can have a color behind it or not here I have this one is just opaque behind it and this document I have color shown on it and then all these can be in one particular say column here 
like you used to have before. And then if you hover over it, you can see at the bottom here it shows add block. You can come in here and you can add a block directly into there and just keep going down, down, down within this column and they all stay aligned. If I was to come in here and say try to change the size of this, you can see that it basically only goes horizontal on this one here. So again that sizing and reshaping thing, it's, it does give you the ability to do somewhat reshaping but it stays um, somewhat conformed to this aspect ratio where it only goes out and expands those and then images will all they'll have that a lot aspect, aspect ratio when you're increasing and decreasing it. Um, one more thing to walk through here and that's um, next to this all blocks there is a an explore templates so you do get a few templates that they give you where it would pre-populate um, every all this stuff on the board for that template so if I let me move this up and see if it'll do it right let me say reading notes you can see it through that template on here and then everything is selected right now for what the what that template provides if I was to come in here let's click off and let's just say maybe planning it does planning there and we can see what that looks like. So there are some templates here that you can leverage. On the template front, it would be, I would say, much better if we can create our own templates and have our own template library and easily be able to access those templates. But I'm going to go ahead and close it out right here. Again, this is an initial look at Scrintle's Playground for the Mind the new version of the board that they're going to be releasing here hopefully pretty soon let me know your thoughts on what I've shown here so far is it something that um, it, you're interested in or you're excited about on this new version of the board that they're bringing to the table or is it really they're catching up with some of the other products or solutions out there that gives you visual note taking and whiteboarding type capabilities. If you like the content I'm providing on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. And until the next time, have a nice day.